All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up a Dell XPS 13 9360. So first what you wanna do is remove all the screws. There will be four T5 screws here, then another five, six, seven, and then eight. So remove those eight, and then under this cover, there's a Phillips screwdriver um, screw. So you can use a PH1 and possibly a PH0, but if you do, make sure to put a lot of pressure so you don't strip the screw, just push down while you're twisting it, okay? Um, getting this cover off is a little bit tough. You're going to need a strong pry tool like this, and then you just go around. Um, it might be a little bit easier for me now that I already did it, but um, what you do is you get the tool in this way and then pry it up this way. Okay, so go like that and then just go all the way around. Okay, since I already pried it off once, it's easier. But you basically just do that all the way around, even the sides, okay? Because it's going to be stuck really strong. And once you do that, um, the cover will come off. Let's see here, along the back. Okay, when you get to the back, you can actually um, push the, the thing forward and pull the cover this way. And that'll help you remove that, okay? You just pull it out like that. Okay, so as you can see at the back, it has these clips here that basically grab around the thing so you can't just pull it out, you have to slide them out. Okay, all right, so that's what that is. Um, as you can see underneath, there's not really much you can do. Um, there's the battery connector here. You pull it out just by using your fingernails or a pry tool and get that along the edges to pull it. There's the CMOS battery. I don't know if this battery was smashed or what or if that's just the design but it's weird like it looks like someone turned it on its side and hit it with a hammer but the CMOS battery or the real-time clock battery connector BIOS battery is here the connector then you got the speaker connector here um, the wires go all the way along there's not really anything you can upgrade in here except for the SSD looks like a M.2 um, NVMe or PCIe SSD um, you got the connector for the fan Connector, I believe this is for the trackpad, the keyboard. Um, actually, I believe this might be the trackpad. I'd have to take the battery out, but if you were working on this and you needed to, you can take those out. Um, There's a customer's computer. I don't need to change any of that stuff, so I'm not going to take things out if I don't need to. Um, but yeah, then you got another connector here. Two pins. What would that be for? might be this is the LCD connector right here I'm not too sure where this is going oh it looks like it's part of the LCD connector so it comes out here that might be for the microphone in the screen or the camera and then you got another connector this connector actually is probably not for the keyboard I believe it's going around like that and then connecting this um, SS, uh, the SATA SD card and the USB 3 port so those are on a separate board, it appears. Um, and then there's the wireless card you can take out. Um, the antennas are underneath here. You lift from the back of the tail. Don't pry the, ta um, the connectors out from the front or you can break them. And then there's another thing here. Oh, this is for the camera. Um, so that other one's probably for microphone. And then there's a connector here for some models. Looks like there's a touch screen. So there's another connector there for that. Um, but that's pretty much it. There's not really too much you can do with this model. Um, but hopefully this video helped you at least get to know what the inside looks like. Um, the processor is soldered down. You can't upgrade it. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will help you get into your, your device. And if you need to change the SSD or anything like that, you can do that. Um, then also there's the charge port here. It looks like you don't need to take out anything else. There's just the one screw holding it here and the connector here. Okay, yep, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, and if it did, make sure to like and subscribe because that'll help me out. And thank you for watching. Remember when you put the lid back on that you have to put it a little bit further down and then slide it up to get the clips in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, thanks, bye.